Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, we're finally, finally getting into changing the suspension. Everybody out there is going, oh my god, thank friggin' god he's finally doing it. Um, so what I've got to do at the moment, I've altered all the gear that I'm getting. I've got a little list here. I'm getting a steering dampener. The rear, uh, the rear spring, so an 8 kilogram rear spring. The... Uh, the shock shaft in the middle, or the suspension thing in the middle, I don't know what you call it. Um, that's actually going up to Vince Strand in New South Wales. He's going to revalve it and then send it back. And he'll, uh, yeah, he'll send it back already pre-packaged in the new suspension, uh, the spring. Uh, front fork springs and uh, 10 weight or 10 WT oil to go in that. Um, T valves. Now I said I was getting the T-valves, but he actually hasn't got the T-valves in stock at the moment, but he's got the gold ones, so he's going to give me the gold ones, and he said he'll do it close to the same price or a little bit more. Um, and then I'm also getting the, the rear sprocket, the 44 tooth rear sprocket. The stock one's only 41. Uh, new heavy duty or super heavy duty uh, chain. Uh, I've said the revalve. Yeah, that's it. Idea at the moment, what I'm going to do is just uh, remove that uh, rear spring, get that sh uh, the shock valve thing out, and then send it up. And then once he's revalved that, he'll send all the gear straight down, and then we can get stuck into putting all that in. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, so when I get all the stuff, I think what I'm going to first do is most probably uh, just install the rear shock, or the rear spring um, suspension, and the front suspension. I won't put the uh, steering dampener on, and then just have a bit of a play for a little while and uh, just uh, see how the suspension has changed. Because if I put everything on, and then I go, oh my god, this is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to exactly know, I suppose, what's what, so I, I figure if I do that, have a bit of a play with it, I'll then get to know, you know, what, what, how that's changed it, um, and then I'll put that steering dampener on, and then hopefully I'll be able to see a change in doing that. Anyway, all right, let's get all this bloody uh, gear off and start removing this uh, rear spring. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you saw, I've just taken the seat, the side plates off, taken the rear wheel off, and basically this is what I'm left with. Now remember, I've never done this before. Um, I'm actually looking at a, I've done a search on, you know, the forums and all that kind of stuff. There's a few different ways, or a couple of different ways, and that's the way that I'm doing it, and that's coming at, taking the rear suspension out of the bottom. Um, I've noticed that uh, people have talked about uh, loosening or removing the air box or something and you can take it out the top. That seems to be the easy way, this seems to be the proper way, so I thought I'll just try and do it the proper way. Um, it's most probably a little bit more work maybe, I'm not too sure. But as always, you're just watching me stuff around <laughs> trying to do it myself. Um, so now that I've done that, basically I've got to uh, take some of these linkages off, the dog bone linkages. Um, then this will get moved up and I'll just strap it. I hope that'll be all loose so that I'll move that up and make sure I use a gotcha strap just to hold that up out of the way. All right, we'll just do this next step. Oh, I forgot to mention um, the video that I've, uh, I've got on the computer. It's actually a guy um, doing this on a DRZ400. So... I'm pretty sure that they should be pretty much the same, but we'll find out as I go. Oh, bloody hell, it's on my tight. I might as well be doing it the wrong ways and you guys are screaming at me. So I'm going back the other way. 
See, that's anti-clockwise. That's clockwise. My head is saying, Mark, you've got to go anti-clockwise. All right, I'm going to continue. Oh, all right, I'm going the right way, guys. Oh. Oh. There you go. Nothing like a bloody stiff knot nut to make you question yourself. Hey, pooks, stop it. They're going to be watching you and not me. <laughs> all right, let's get this off. There you go. So now this should just move freely. All right, so I've got to remember. Whoop. Oh, so they were on the inside. Okay, so for Mark, when he looks back on this video, <laughs> uh, these two washers were on the inside. I'll bring you around. So this bolt that goes through there, there are two washers. They were sitting on the inside in there. Just so I remember to put it back the same way. Cool. All right guys, so we've got to uh, strap this out of the way. Of course, you all know I love my bloody gotcha straps. So now, what I've got to do is, I'll bring it down. So now what I've got to do is uh, take this bolt out of here. You'll see there's two spots there, and in the previous one where this bike was lowered, I'm gonna, and I had to re-lift it back up. So basically, uh, I've got to make sure I put it back in that bottom one there. I'll just give you a spin around. So yeah, you can see that bolt there. Um, if you've got it standard, it'll go in that, that hole there, but if your bike is lowered, you've got to remember to put it back in that one up there. Cool bananas. All right, guys, so I've got to get this one off. On the DRZ, on that video that I'm watching, it's got a nut on that side and a bolt, or a bolt and a nut. This has just got a bolt, and obviously that part is threaded, so we've just got to rip this off. Oh, I should still be anti-clockwise. Shit. Bastard. Oh. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me work this out. All right. Let's go again. <laughs> I just grab a, I grabbed a, a bolt and a nut and I just did the whole thing. So that to take that off it goes anti-clockwise and the bolt works the same way. It comes off anti clockwise. Jesus, bloody Christ. Really? Oh, I think I got it. Oh no. Really? Am I stripping that? Oh. All right, go that way. Oh. What am I doing bloody wrong? Oh. 
tree. I don't want to strip the bolt. to spray some stuff on it. <laughs> I'll come back to you guys. Oh, I'm not having much luck with this uh, this bolt. And this bolt, I've actually uh, taken this off and put it down the bottom and done it up. Now I can't get the bastard off. So, um, I'm gonna try and use this drill on hammer. I remember someone saying about an impact driver. So I'm gonna give this a shot. If not, I'm gonna have to duck down and finally invest in a bloody uh, impact driver. So. Here we go guys. Nah. Not gonna happen. Gonna have to go get myself an impact driver. <laughs> See you in a minute. Oh, what a bloody day. I tell you what, I slept in, I got up at about 10 a.m. in the morning, woke up with a bloody headache. Of course, then I'm running late for doing all my bits and pieces and whatever under the pump. Got to get this video done so I can send that thing off to bloody um, Vince Strand to get that organised. Of course, so the nuts have been giving me bloody hassle, as you know. Alright, so I've gone, went down, drove down and got myself an impact driver. It was actually an impact screwdriver set, as you can see. But I thought that that was going to fit my uh, sockets but it doesn't and then I went actually they went oh look it's got that you take that off and but that's the I don't know what size it is but it's the bigger one oh bugger it bloody hell all right back down and go and find a one of those it's a reducer adapter so that now fits on there and I can put my screwdriver or my socket on there and use that while I was there, I thought, bugger it, I'm not coming back out. I'm buying an extension. So, that on there, that on there, like that on there, and hey presto, what a bloody weapon that is. All right, let's give it a go, and hopefully I can get this nut off. I reckon that's getting tighter. You reckon? Oh, bloody hell. Oh dear. Well, oh, we had lots of trouble last night trying to get this one bloody bolt out. I even tried grinding a um, slit in it to use the impact drill. I couldn't get a grip on this bloody uh, uh, bolt. Crazy, we just tried everything, all different types of stuff and just you know, heating it up and... <sighs> Nothing was bloody working, it just didn't want to come out and that's a bolt I've taken out and put back in. So I don't know what the bloody hell I've done. It's early in the morning, I've just gotten up and I'm just reassessing everything. Because it's like I've come to a standstill. Crazy. So I'm just going to start, uh, what I'm going to do um, is I'm just taking this one out and that's just going to have all this part will hang down and I'll then continue doing the upper part so at least I can get this whole thing out with this thing hanging on it 
go and take that in the bloody shed and then uh, maybe work on it in a bloody better angle you know, put it in the vice or something like that or well, worst case scenario <laughs> I can I can send that that whole thing up to Vince and go Vince please sort it out for me <laughs> so um, yeah I was bloody in a bad wow. so pissed off last night and all my shoulders were hurting I had to give Natty give me a bloody massage but anyway shit like this happens and you just gotta bloody keep working at it and uh, and get through it so we'll start taking this uh, stuff apart I felt like just forgetting this bloody video but um, <laughs> I will continue here's that uh, impact driver when I cut the slit in the bolt you can see there's just bent that bloody nut just does or the bolt just does not want to come out even started on another one did started doing the same thing on an up note that uh, <laughs> kickstand bloody switch thing that I said I was going to take off came off really really easy I've just got to strip that wire out but I wasn't going to worry about that at the moment I had to do something that was really easy to do. <laughs> All right, enough stuffing around. I'm just going to get straight into getting this out. Alrighty. I've already loosened this one off. But basically, just using that. Got that off. That was pretty, uh, pretty easy. As, as I would expect something like this to be. Now, if I knock that out. Ah, oh, see, that's nice and lubed. This all should just pop out. You know, is there any bloody washers that are going to pop out? No, cool. Excellent. All right, well, at least now I can uh, continue. That makes me feel a little bit better. Beautiful. All right, we'll get, uh, actually, I might go and have some breakfast. <laughs> and uh, we'll start doing the top part. All right guys, so now we're gonna do the top part. There's a bolt up here, um, but to get to that, we've gotta take a few things off. So we're gonna take this off so then I can get a bit, a bit better access to take the uh, hose from the um, air box. And I'll just take this off to start with. I've cleaned up all my workspace. I'm still in my pajamas. I'll just keep going while I'm on a on a winning streak. They actually um, say that you take this uh, exhaust pipe off to get to stuff. I'm hoping that I don't have to. Uh, being, I don't know. We'll just see. It's whether this can can come out. Um, past that if, if it's got enough room to move in that way but we'll find out okay so now we've got that plate off up and around in here you can see oh, there is it there's a hose there it's got a little clip so I'm hoping to pull that off out of there and it runs up and through there and right through there and that part there if I pull that down let's see if I can get it you see it you can see that, uh, oh, that's really hard there. You can see that bolt there, that's what we need to get to. So just being able to move this hose out of the way will make it easier. And then on the other side, you can just see that nut, or bolt or whatever it is, if I can get my finger through. Oh, move that out of the way. There it is there. So I just got to, get something in there to grab hold of that as well but I should be able to wiggle through those wires to get to that one okay so this is the problem when you're looking at uh, a different motorbike <laughs> a DRZ400 and a DR650 all very similar but there are little differences I've just realized I don't need to take this um, breather pipe off uh. In there, that's actually not a nut. There's no nut on it. 
basically the bolt thread straight through. So um, the metal part of that frame that holds the shock in there is threaded. So it's just the other side I have to uh, do. So that should make it a little bit easier. And uh, fingers crossed, we don't have to uh, remove this. But if we do, we do, it doesn't matter. Okay, got a 12 mil socket. Now let's feed that in between all those wires. There you go, beautiful. So that, that goes onto that nice and straight. Now, gotta, hopefully this bolt comes out and undoes without me stripping that bolt like I bloody did with that other one. Here we go. Alright, so we're going anti clockwise, Mark. Oh, that feels really good. Oh, yes, sweet Georgia Brown. So, this should be a bolt that's going to come straight out. Cool. <clears throat> See if that's actually come all the way out. Yep, <clears throat> that's all unthreaded. I've just got to pull, just got to pull that bolt out. Make sure I've got to uh, grab hold of it, and then hopefully we can um, wiggle the uh, shock to the side a little bit, and then down, so we don't have to take that exhaust pipe off. So we'll, we'll have a shot at doing that now. All right, let's see if I can get this bolt to jiggle out. It's a bit bloody hard to get in here. Too many bloody wires everywhere. Just so you can see what I'm bloody doing, I've just undone some of these things just to move these down. I've loosened that up just so that I can move these wire looms a little bit more and hopefully now I can get my fingers on that and pull the bloody thing out alright let's see if we can wiggle this out now get my fingers on it take the weight It doesn't feel like it wants to. I might get a bloody pair of pliers on it. There we go. One bolt out. So now I'm holding the weight. Hope. Oh. Alright, that should rest on there. Hopefully we can get that passed. I don't think so. What, how much room have we got? Oh, look at that, it's so bloody close. Hang on, I'll move the camera so you can see it coming out the bottom. <laughs> All right, here it comes, and <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> oh, look at that. I actually got it out. So now, oh, that's really good. I'm now absolutely over the friggin' moon. So all I've got to do now is take that into the shed, put it in a vise or something and be able to work on it in a decent sense and see if I can get that out. I suppose, gee that's got some bloody weight in it. I suppose that obviously taking all this out means that I'll get to pull all these apart. Oh sorry. Uh, the linkage 
the stuff and uh, give them a clean up and a, and a regrease. So I will try to take this off and then we've got to take this spring off the shaft or off the shock and then I can send it up to Vince. <sighs> Bloody brilliant! <laughs> Alright guys, so here's that uh, fending bolt, as you can see, it's a bit stripped, well, it was a lot stripped, but I tried to get the file onto it to try and straighten it up, but it was just, once it's stripped you file it and then it just makes it a little bit smaller, so the only way I could maybe do it is to file it down to the next size, that was a 12 mil. so whether I can file it to be a 11 mil. Uh, but I think I'm going to give the impact driver another shot now because um, this being in a solid thing, this can't bloody move. Whereas when it was on the bike, there was some wriggle. Um, but I mean, it looked like it was trying to work because the um, the bloody screwdriver on the impact drill was bending. But we'll see, it might work better on a solid thing. Um, I just wanted to quickly uh, just make a note, when I was taking the shock out and I was saying about getting past that exhaust, if you've got the stock um, exhaust system, you may have to take it off because that's what they say, you've got to take it off. But having that I've got the stain tune exhaust system, um, it might have been, I don't know, a little bit smaller or the bend was in the right spot so that I could wiggle it out. But just a note that um, if you're having a, str uh, having a struggle to get it out and you've got the stock one, it's just you need to take it out. I was lucky enough to have the stain tune in there and was able to get it out. Yeah, so um, I don't know what the deal is with this bloody bolt. I don't know whether it's welded itself on there or if I put Loctite on it when I put it back in um, or did it up too much or actually when I was pulling it out, putting it back in, I've obviously stripped it a little bit and then obviously trying to take it out being tight I've stripped it even more and now I've, I've just created the problem myself um, and uh, I just got to sort the bloody shit out all right I'll get stuck under that all right let's have a shot at doing this hopefully as I said being in that solid section Funny, you look at it and you think, oh, it's moving a little bit, it's moving a little bit, but it's not. The other thing is, I don't know how to use one of these, if I'm doing it bloody correctly or not. Yeah, Jesus, look at that. Hopefully, oh, yeah. You see that? It's just... So it's working, but it's bending the wrong bloody thing. Alright, we'll give up on that. <clears throat> I'll have to file it and see what I can do there. Well, there you go guys, I fixed it. See? No more troublesome bolt. It's just not there anymore. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. Been trying and trying to get that thing out, I just can't get it out, so... We cut the... Well, there's the bolt there. I actually started off by cutting off the, the lip that goes around this bolt, had a lip on it. And some of them were quite stuck on. Um, but even after doing, getting, cleaning that up, I still couldn't get onto it. Tried the impact driver. So we've just cut it straight off. On the other, other side of this, which is underneath here. Oh. Yeah, that in there. I've drilled that out as much as I can. Um, I don't know whether it'll make much of a difference, but basically I'm going to drill a hole in this top thing. And then I've got one of those reverse um, duvalacky things that you drill into there, and then it grabs hold of it, and hopefully we'll pull it out. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. I was just getting ready to drill a hole, and I've put a center punch. I've just noticed when I've put the center punch all around here it's moved. So I don't know, I reckon it, I'm gonna go with it, it was like self-welded itself to it. But uh, yeah, so I've done a center punch, I'm just gonna 
file that just to smooth it and then I'll get a drill, drill it in and then use my uh, little reverse tapper thing. Holy shit! I'm a happy man! <laughs> Check that out! So using that little bloody reverse tapper thing see if I can do this one handed get that Look at that! Brilliant. Alright guys, I'm one happy bloody man. So, I'm going to go and have a shower, get bloody dressed, and then I'm going to come back and take off this spring off here. Basically, simply, all I've got to do is undo these two things all the way up. There's a sur clip, and then this bit, I don't know, some bit will come off, and then I can slide that off. And then we'll pack it off, send it up to uh, Vince, and that'll be the end of this video. And then I'll most probably do another one, um, just going through and re-greasing all this stuff. Alright guys, see you in a minute. Alright guys, so we've got to get this spring off. I'm just using a mallet and just a, a bolt. I suppose you can use anything. And all we've got to do, there's a, a locking nut. I've just got to bash that free. seems to be moving at the same bloody time. Am I going the right way? <laughs> Should be. Oh. Jesus Christ, take some whacking. I might use the hammer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's working now. So yeah, it takes a bit. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's the thing when doing shit like this. It's really hard. You keep questioning yourself. Whether you're hitting it the right way. Oh, look at that. Oh. Excellent. I don't think I could deal with another bloody issue. <laughs> So we've just got to back this all the way up. Cool, so now, hopefully, we can do this one. No, oh, it's not sitting on there. At some point it should start getting easy. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just going to get Nadia to give us a hand to save me bloody bashing that thing around all the time. I'm just going to take the pressure off this spring and she's going to try and wind. Cramp in the gut. Oh. That's why I said release it. Yeah. <laughs> my whole body was shaking. Sorry, yeah. stabbing on the fingers. Not yes. the car, baby. Alright. And. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> cool, so there you go guys. Now all we've got to do is wind all this up. I don't know how far, but I'll just go up to the top. I'll bring you back over here. Alright guys, so basically it just as I lifted this up it all kind of like just fell down. 
So I'm presuming that that is what they use as the circlip. And then this just comes off, just like that. And remember Mark, you're looking at this. Oh, I'm not going to have to know this because I'm going to get the new one. It's all going to come back done for me. So that now comes off there. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Hey, presto. Look at that. Stock spring off and gone. So I've got to remember to put all this back on here because that's got to go to uh, to Vinstrad Motorcycles so they can work their white man magic on it. Excellent. Well there you go guys, that's how to take the rear shock or suspension out of a DR650 the goddamn bloody hard way. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully if you're attempting that, that uh, I mean if it was that one bolt, if that had a bloody come off alright, the, the rest of it would have been a breeze. So now that's going to go up to um, Vince Strand, he's going to do his revalve thing, I don't know how it works. And then I've got that new 8 kilogram spring, so he'll revalve this, attach all the spring on there, have all the adjustments where they're supposed to be, <coughs> and basically I'll be able to just whack it in. I'll have to uh, get a new bolt for there, um, so i either get it from the local uh, Suzuki dealer or I'll give uh, Vince a ring and he might have one that he can send down uh, when he sends all the other stuff. Alright guys, so in the next video we'll do, I'll do the... Um, what do you call it? The swing arm, not the swing arm, the... What do they call that bloody thing? Hmm. The dog bones, the linkage, that's what it is. It's the goddamn linkage. So I'll take this bolt out, take these out, and uh, re-grease it all and make it all look nice and pretty and hopefully. So thinking about that, that nut, that bolt that I was having all the trouble with, um, I think it was my fault. Um, that I didn't put any grease on it when I redid it. I tried to look back at the old videos, I think it was the DR part, DR650 part one, when I first got the bike, and because I thought I'd like to be able to see what I did, but I didn't actually show um, doing it. I just kind of like pointed, this is what I did to, to get it from being lowered up to, to the normal height. So I reckon back then I most probably didn't grease it, um, and that's where, you know, going through the Simpson and just fucking up and down, up and down, it's just clagged it up. So there you go guys, alright, keep on riding.